Today's extra super special shout out goes to Savage Bean LPS. Thank you so much for being such a possum and amazing fan. If you want to know how to get a shout out, be sure to check out that video. Hey my beautiful roses, what is up? It's Rachel and welcome or welcome back to my Littlest Pet Shop channel. For more brand new LPS content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy. Also, don't be shy, hit that bell so you are the first to know when I post brand new videos. Thanks! Today is a really gloomy day, but that will not stop my celebration of getting new LPS. And accessories as well. Before I begin this haul of pets, which I am really eager to do, I just want to let you roses know that I got this lot from Facebook Marketplace, and if you're not checking there, you're missing out. Okay, with that being said, let's go! Hello, it's me! Alright, so the first thing I want to address is the elephant of this lot, and that is a whole LPS car. It's, it's, it's a car, it's a remote control LPS car. I don't really know what batteries it uses, but I'll figure it out later, and I don't think the seller included the batteries. So maybe in a future video or in a YouTube short, which go check out my YouTube shorts if you haven't, I might uh, look into this. Before I show you the rest of the accessories, I want to show you the pet that was in the thumbnail because everyone has already seen it. And that is this absolutely stunning, stunning glitter pet. This pet is definitely going on display, and I don't know if I'll use her, but she is just so beautiful, and I'm so happy that I got her in this lot, and it was just super, super cheap. If this were any other pet, I'm sure you roses know that I love throwing things off screen. Get out of here. But this one is in absolutely immaculate condition, so... Alright, let's move on. Accessory speed round. Okay, now it's time for the pets. I'm gonna pick one. Oh wow, this is adorable. I love it. And her eyes are just such a beautiful color. I can definitely see her being in a Halloween sort of video. She definitely gives off those vibes. Next up, I got my first ever Corgi. I'm so happy. And these pets are in such great condition. I didn't even clean them yet. No joke, like they are absolutely beautiful. Sticking to the theme of dogs, I have this beautiful bulldog and scooty dog. These are two of my favorite dog molds and I just love both of these so much. Now for a pet that I've wanted for a really, really long time. Some of you OG roses might know this great Dane. I am so, so thrilled. There is the neck peg. His bobble is amazing and he is in really good condition. 
The second and final Big Five pet that I got from this lot is this beautiful short hair cat. She has really no blemishes. The owner took very good care of her. And I guess I didn't see this in the listing, but she comes with a really cute collar and a cute orange bow. I don't have any of these, so I'm super thrilled. And that is her neck peg. I'm pretty sure she is also authentic. The camera is not focusing. Yeah, and just like the other one, she has an amazing, amazing bobble. Ah, uh, this pet is so cute. I am not sure what kind of line this is from. I want to say postcard pets, but I don't think so. It might be some special Valentine's Day thing, but nonetheless, it's adorable. This, I believe, is another postcard pet, and these little designs are actually not supposed to be colored in, so hopefully I can take this vandalization off of this poor pet, but if I can't, I think it looks okay because when I got it, I thought it was supposed to look like this, but then I realized they put marker up in it. <laughs> Alrighty, now I'm just gonna do a big speed run of the rest of the pets. Also, I actually just found a few more accessories. So we have this thing, a perfume bottle, and I believe a skirt or a collar. Ooh! Love the design on this one. I think this pet is related to Mr. Big Head because her head is so giant. This is my first fish pet and I love it. All right, now for the last pet, I just want to quickly apologize to all of these molds. I was really, really rude to them and I think it was featured in one of my roasting LPS videos. I just said I didn't like the mold and I didn't like how you hold it, but there's an easy fix. You can just hold it and talk like this and I think this mold has redeemed themselves, especially with this pet. It is just so, so cute. Bad lighting and a ton of cords everywhere aside, this is everything I got in the lot and I am so, so thrilled. Those are all of the pets and accessories I got. I am so happy with this lot and it was really, really cheap. And just a special quick tip for you roses because you watched until the end. You gotta wait and look for sellers who don't really know what they're selling and then you'll get the best bargain. So if you're looking for lots, I wish you luck. And cue the outro! Oops. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, Roses, oh so very much for watching this video all the way until the very end. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you are liking my content and you have not already, please, I advise you, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and maybe even share this video with a fellow friend who would enjoy. Go follow my Instagram, Ivy LPS Studios Official, for channel updates, picture of my mascot, sneak peeks of videos, and much, much more. I just hit 500 the day that I'm filming this video, so I just want to say thank you so much. And my next YouTube goal is going to be 2.7K, so be sure to subscribe if you have not. You all mean so, so very much to me. Thanks for helping me on my LPS tube journey. Of course, as always, I love saying this at the end of my videos. Have a possum day wherever you are in the world. Bye, my beautiful roses. Rachel out. Ooh, whoa, I almost knocked her off the table. Oops.